Game on. Game on. Watch out. Archer champ. Archer champ. Are there? Oh, oh, there, oh that was nice. bad. I don't know where these arrows are going, but <laughs> I hit, one of them hit. Oh. oh, there we go. All right, you crushed me. OK, so walk me through the design. The features. Specs have a dual SOC design, meaning there are two processors on board, one on this side and one on this side. And they talk to each other through a, a custom architecture we built so that one SOC is responsible for the computer vision, understanding the world around you, and the other one is really responsible for the application layer or mm -hmm. all those lenses that you're experiencing. I'm still skeptical that people are going to put a camera on their faces. And it turns out, I'm not the only one. Would you wear a pair of smart glasses? No. No. No camera on your face. That's disgusting. Yeah? No? No. OK. I really don't like glasses in general. Our privacy is invaded. There's the privacy risk, amped up with AI providing new ways to collect and exploit personal data. I know behaviors have changed a lot, but it still can be like a little unnerving when someone turns to face you and they've got a camera right on you. I think you're right to feel that about camera glasses. When the primary use case of glasses is a camera, I don't think there's enough utility or a benefit for there to be real social acceptance across the world at a broad scale. I think yeah. the turning point's gonna come when you say, hey, are you taking a picture? And, and they say, no, I'm watching a movie. And you're gonna be like, what? <laughs> Do glasses make our lives more social or more antisocial? I think they're gonna create points of connection in the real world, which is fundamentally what we as humans really need.